good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Hello acquaintances. So today I'm going to be doing another video of do your hair with me video. I'm going to be doing so today I'm going to be doing another do your hair with me video and we're just going to sit and chat and be the hashtag background noise um, while you do your hair. So I'm just going to take these braids down and hopefully they've sat long enough. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys this. I did put some, some oils on my hair, just regular cocoa, uh, cocoa butter oil. Um, carrot oil, like all those type of stuff, but I did use the lock and set uh, product only so, I only use this when I'm in a rush to curl my hair because it sets it, because um, it does set it a little bit faster without me having to leave it in overnight because I hate sleeping with braids at night it's so uncomfortable like it's really uncomfortable so i just sprayed that on my hair and it's all set and ready to go it's finally dried yes yeah, finally dried and we're just gonna take it down and chit chat all right so today i need to anybody who's watching this now i can very much use some of your experiences in the comments down below and tell me your stories because I feel like I know that there are a lot of people going through this especially millennials my age but because of social media I can't really tell uh, what is oh uh, I can't really tell you know that a lot of people are going through this so a lot of times I feel like I'm the only one who's going through this if that makes sense yeah uh, especially because on social media it's portrayed that everyone has it together and if you haven't understood by now I'm going to talk about okay. so today I'm going to be talking about adulting and what that basically means is your transitionhood into a young lad who has gone to school every day, basically young, your teenage years into your grown up years. And that preferably usually happens all throughout your 20s. However, in my personal opinion, I think that can happen starting from your 20s to however long it takes for you to actually become what you classify as a full-blown adult. <laughs> so I am whew, I am definitely feeling that pressure of becoming an adult and I feel um, as a single oh hold on this is a very loose braid out. This is I should have done it smaller than like individual, but I don't mind. Actually, I don't mind it. It's, it's whatever. At least it stretched it out. But um, yeah, I definitely feel those pressures of becoming an adult, especially as a single woman. And the reason why I say that is because it seems like. Like I said, this is my own opinion, and I've only been going from what I've seen around me. Nothing really happened. Like, it's, it's like, wavy. Hmm. That's disappointing. Anyway. And it seems like everybody my age is either on their second child. And by the way, I'm in my mid-twenties, I would say. <laughs> About to be about to be 25 I'm 24 going to be 25 in February 6 and it seems like everybody my age is either married or on their second child and I'm like Ex hello 
Excuse me. <laughs> We're still children here. I'm still in high school. What do you mean? Where well, I'm your second child. What the heck? We're getting married. Oh my gosh. Anyway. And it seems like they don't usually leave the nest or the home until they actually get married or ended up do having a child. And they have basically a, a permanent roommate <laughs> to help them through their financial needs. That's how most of my family has done it. And um, that's how most people my age I've seen have done it. And I absolutely refuse. If it happens, it happens. But I, at this moment, how I feel right now, I don't think that's the best option for me. And then trying to do all of this alone, trying to figure out this crazy world by myself and figuring out how I'm supposed to go out in this society alone is terrifying now i've mentioned it before but i have extreme anxiety and really really sad times aka depression but uh, i don't like to call it that i like to call it my superpowers so lately i've been having um basically these superpowers have been greatly intensified by this pressure of where I should be in my life and I'm not there and also trying to figure this out by myself ah so this video is so lighthearted oh my gosh but <laughs> like I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer but I feel like I need to address this and if I'm not going to address it to myself I need to address it to something like for the past couple of months I have been distracting myself with YouTube and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this because what has been going on with the world is sometimes so heavily weighed that we actively seek out a distraction something to just make us feel better about reality because reality sucks <laughs> and I know that a lot of my anime fan community because hence I am one too can definitely relate to that um, as a kid I drowned myself in the fantasy of anime and cartoons because it seemed like no matter what obstacle came their way, you always knew that everything was going to be okay. At the time I was watching, the animes that I was watching at least. Um, so yeah. And I've realized that now if we don't, I realize now that if I don't address the situation, then nothing's ever going to get solved. And my fear is that I will forever remain in this situation that I'm in and I feel like I'm stagnating and I feel like I feel like no matter what I'm trying to do I can't get past this wall this makes sense um, and sometimes instead of keep trying instead of to keep getting constantly disappointed over and over and over and over and over again it's better to drown it out with I don't know a YouTube video or Jenna Marbles <laughs> or uh, Kenny Kenny JD, if you don't know her, um, and it just, and you keep drowning it out and drowning it out. Well, at least I did. I'm gonna speak it through me, but I kept drowning it out and drowning it out and drowning it out until I couldn't drown it out anymore. 
and I had one of the biggest breakdowns I've ever had in a very, very, very long time. Yeah. And now I'm getting to the point where if I keep ignoring it, and if I keep trying to drown it out, um, I am not going to end up in a very positive place. I've been there before, and I'm recognizing the symbols and the signs, and I don't want to return to them. I want to believe that, you know, things are going to get better. And I, people with these, people who have intense superpowers, no matter what they are, I feel like keeping a journal to write down all your feelings, I have something called my prayer book, whether, no matter what your religion is, this is, this is, I'm just talking through me. I have something called a prayer book, prayer book. And I write down all my emotions, raw and uncut. The ugliest of the ugliest and the saddest of the saddest. Like, I let it out. <laughs> like, if I'm feeling like a real vindictive, like, monster, then I'm going to be that real vindictive monster through this journal. And sometimes I read back on it. And a lot of the things that I was worried about, like sometimes like at the beginning of this year, I'm no longer worried about. Um, a lot of the things that I thought would never change have already changed. And that gave me so much hope. And it, it had changed so much that to the point where I laughed because I'm like, oh, this situation so silly, you're fine. You know what I mean? Or like, not that it's silly, but it's like, wow, this is what you were worried about? Like, girl, <laughs> wait another two months, you'll be good. <laughs> so that helped me so much. Cause I'm like, if I thought that that situation I, if I thought I would never get out of that situation, if I would never get over this feeling, I would never be able to accomplish something that I wanted to accomplish so badly, and I did, and then some. Like, what makes me think I can't accomplish this? Regardless of when I accomplish it. Not regardless, no. I don't want to say that. But, like, what makes me think that this obstacle isn't the same as the others that I have proudly overcome? You know what I'm saying? Woo! It's an emotional video. Oh my goodness. One of the things I've come to realize is that one of the biggest... I think triggers for me isn't that I don't think I can accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. It's the fact that I can't accomplish it in the time that people expect me to accomplish things. And that's what has been triggering me and I just now realized this. See, this is why talking helps so much for me because as I'm talking, I'm figuring things out. And I'm hoping that maybe as I'm talking, this helps you figure some stuff out too. Or as you write down in the comments, maybe you're like, oh, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like I'm realizing by now people are expecting me to, like, okay, I'm gonna give an example on YouTube, okay? There's a lot of YouTubers my age that you see constantly thrown in the, in the media, even like with Kylie Jenner or whatever, that these people are darn, are darn right millionaires by the time they are my age or younger than me. And 
it's so incredibly frustrating because you start to see this so often that you think that that's normal. You're thinking that that's the way it's supposed to be. And that's so much further from the truth. And that's so incredibly frustrating. Like that's very, very frustrating. Or that you should have your own um, stable life. You should already be classified as a normal adult ready to have children by the mid-20s. And if that is you, and if that's where you are, then I congratulate you. But that's not where I am. I don't, no, I'm not ready for children. I'm not basically at the place that people think that I should be. And I'm, I'm gonna try not to make this video too long. And um, one of my biggest frustrations has been <laughs> I'm a very creative person I like having stuff to do with my hands I like creating crafts and whatever but I can never think of something that I would want to do for the rest of my life I know that not there's not many people out there like that, but I've talked to a few people who aren't like that. And let me tell you, you're not alone. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at this age where I'm just like, people always ask me, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? And I never knew what to answer them. I just gave them an answer because that's what I'm supposed like that's what's expected like here's the answer <laughs> here's something um, but I had a very real sit down with myself and realize that there is nothing that I want to do there's nothing here let me see. there's nothing in this world that I in traditional society, there's nothing in traditional society that I want desperately. There's nothing in traditional society that I am passionate about. Like everything that I really, really like doing is untraditional. Like I'm really into um, learning about, uh, what's it called? Um, natural medicine. Like, I'm really into learning about natural medicine. I'm really into, like, being, like, a hair doctor, creating stuff on YouTube. Um, I'm really interested in traveling the world, which is what I'm doing. And I'm like, I don't know where that fits in anything. Like, I feel like I don't fit anywhere. I don't fit in your eyes. And if you're like me, just let you know you're not alone. And this doesn't mean that you don't fit in this world. And that's a really long realization. It took me a really long time to realize that. Just because you don't fit in the society that you were built, that they, that they force you to think that you are supposed to be built for, doesn't mean that you're not meant to be in this world. It doesn't mean that you don't fit in this world. You wouldn't be here if you didn't fit. And I can't stress that enough. So most of my early 20s has been just figuring this crazy world called life in a very untraditional setting. Figuring out the best way for me to live the life that I want without condensing myself to fit in the world that they want. And I think, I don't know if any of this makes sense, but I hope it does and I hope that it strikes a chord with someone who needs to hear this because I, like it's really weighing on my heart, like a lot. So I'm gonna wrap this up because my phone keeps heating up um, anyway, <laughs> I promise not all my videos are going to be about, oh, I'm sad and da da da. Um, I 
more positive uplifting hello cheery videos are gonna come up and just to let you know I probably will touch on the subject again because I feel like yes it's okay to be distracted but you also have to learn how to confront your issues as well and that's why I spent most of my life doing and I feel very very driven to come to this platform and talk about it and whoever's willing to listen thank you for listening and I will see you whenever so good morning good afternoon and good night bye garbage but like nothing happened this was a waste of time <laughs> like why did I even braid my hair like what was the point of this nothing happened barely barely and now it's uneven okay, whatever it's okay I tried failure but it's okay